Oh, I smell a party going on. What did you? Yeah, we're hot. Oh boy, are we ever hot. Welcome back everybody. This morning, I'm going to make, or start a sauce I wanted to make. I've seen actually online, and I wanted to uh, try it myself. We've been growing ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers. And right now, I've got ghost peppers coming off like crazy. And they want me to eat one. Well, what I'm going to do is make a sauce up using the ghost peppers. And it's going to involve a little vanilla, a little gin bean, some brown sugar, some maraschita cherries. Okay, first of all, we're gonna just cut these tops off. We don't need those. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves. I'm sure these are probably gonna be a little warm. Cut the tops off. Set those aside. Now I'm gonna cut these in half. By the way, I did wash these already. I've been dehydrating these and uh, making a powder out of them. Dehydrate them and grind them up into a powder. Okay, now I'm going to remove the pulp and the seeds. I'm going to put them right in this container here. Okay. Okay. Now, next is going to be our maraschino cherries. These, I'm going to dump here I'm saving the juice I'll use that too so set that over here for the time being Taking these cherries out, I'm just going to pull the stems off. That's all. Just pull the stems out. Put them in with the peppers. Now, I'm going to take add two cups of Kentucky bourbon or Jim Bean. Two cups. cups. Okay. Then a little bit of vanilla extract. I'm going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon. Let me see that or not.
Okay, quarter of a teaspoon. Mix that in, rinse it off. Okay, now step back in here. Now I'm going to pour this in with this. It's going to sit in here a whole week. Marinate. <clears throat> All that flavoring in there. We'll come back and do the rest. Put this lid on here. All right. <clears throat> okay. There we go. After about a week, I'm going to put this in the fridge, both containers, I'm going to save both of them. I'm going to add the uh, juice the, from the maraschini, maraschini cherries in, along with some uh, brown sugar and some uh, maple syrup. And we'll uh, make a uh, nice flavored sauce out of it with a little bit of heat, and then I'll eat my ghost pepper. It's been a week. We are going to finish my ghost pepper Kentucky bourbon sauce. So it's been a week of marinating. What do you want to call it? Marinating. Take the lid off. Can't turn it over too much because I don't want to down or wear it. Anyways, we are ready to blend this today. So now we have to put all the ingredients together. So in this container here, in case you have forgot, is four ghost peppers, cut in halves, um, two cups of Kentucky bourbon, Jim Beam, 10 ounce jar of maraschino cherries, pull the stems off, just the cherries are in here right now. Right here is the juice from those cherries. I saved it too. Later on, it'll be going on with the rest of this stuff. So I'm going to put this in a blender, blend it all up, chop it up real good. Then we're gonna put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. When we do that, we'll add more ingredients. I'll bring you along. We're gonna take this stuff here Put it in the blender and chop it all up. Look at that, no mess even. You should get it all in there. Cap on, very important. Let's figure out how it goes on there. Okay, now let me uh, tip the camera down here. Pour this into a saucepan and bring it to a boil. Here we go. Take our blender, blended mix, pour it in the saucepan here.
Let's make sure we get all the goodies out of there. Now, bring us to a boil. We are using these little ones. We're going to say the little one is going to be this one. Start off high. Trust these little spats over here. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Do you have another plan? I do have another plan for you. We have another plan. Trade me. This is my really good pampered chef spatula. And so I would I hate it. A, can't if, use a fork like Andy does? You can use a fork if you want to. Just not my rubber spatula. In the ghost pepper sauce. In the ghost pepper sauce. Bad idea. Got booze in it. That's gonna help. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and then I'm going to start adding some other ingredients. Right here, I have two cups of brown sugar and a quarter cup of maple syrup. Not to spill it here. Get the glare or no? I'm getting you. I'm getting you. You're okay. all good. Good. So once this kind of, once it comes to a boil, we will uh, bring you back. I would like to say though, our house, this kitchen smells like it's burning my nose. We we're, we've got that happening, and it smells like alcohol. I smell. I smell. I smell a party going on. What did you? <laughs> I, I smell a party going on. <laughs> Party in the pot. That's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, we'll bring it back. What's happening? Okay, we are at a boil. I'd say a hard boil. Did they say a hard boil or a rolling boil? Uh, well, they didn't, really, didn't really say. Okay. I'm I think they're the a, same. I'm going to go with about the same thing. Oh. That looks pretty good to me. I promise you guys, it's burning. My, it, it's It's hot. I know it's hot. Okay, so I'm going to turn this way down here to like to one. We'll start adding some of these other ingredients here. We'll start off with the uh, maple syrup. See if it's handy. I don't want to spill it. I'm just going to pour it in. You could use, uh, they, they had down there cane syrup or maple syrup. I personally like maple syrup. And this is good maple syrup. This isn't the cheap stuff. Okay. Put that in here. Stir that in. Turn up a little more. I think somebody just asked you what that canning jar is back there. That is a what do you call, what do you call that thing? We're making, we're making wine. Your wife has a science project no, going on. Yeah, we're having a science project. We have a Concord on. grapevine, so stay tuned for some wine. Yes. So this is one of those little small batch wine. Small batch wine. Stay tuned for that. Okay. Now I'm gonna start adding some of these other. Okay. Let's turn up a little more yet. You're doing a fine job. You know what else I learned today? Nope. Oh, what do you got there? This is a brown sugar. Two cups of just regular brown sugar. I put it in and stir it around. I learned today that my husband can actually like clean the kitchen. Shh. Don't spread that around. Okay. I don't do windows though. We won't, we won't tell anybody. I'll lose my man card.
Did you want my whisk? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm also going to add in the uh, leftover maraschino cherry juice into this mix as well. My eyes are watering out here. This is strong stuff. See that steam coming off of there? Oh, wow. You could do this with any pepper, right? It doesn't have to be a ghost pepper? They're, yeah, they're, this, this recipe is actually good for the hottest peppers, like Carolina Reapers, the scorpions, the different things they have that are really, really, really hot. You probably could do Hungarian hot wax in here too. Probably could. I, I, I don't know if it would be red though. Uh, it, it wouldn't be red. It would be a different color. But if you can only like tolerate that heat of a pepper, you can I'm using it. it. I'm using the for these hot peppers like the. Now what are you putting in there? This is maraschino cherry juice. I separated the juice from the cherries a week ago put the cherries in to marinate with the uh, the bourbon and the peppers. Okay. Now, I'm gonna bring this to a little bit of a boil here and then let it simmer. Okay. To thicken up a little bit. And then, after it thickens up, do a, uh, what do I have it down here for a, a medium, medium to, th medium to thin consistency? I'm going to pour it into my jars. Do you have to strain it at all? Nope. Okay. Yay. Yum. That's pretty much it. Now you gotta let it simmer, let it thicken up a little bit, and uh, good to go. It smells good. I smell a lot of the. I can smell it. My eyeballs can smell it. My my nose holes can smell it. We can. We got it. This is only a four, this is with four ghost peppers. I'm gonna try it with four. Um, we'll see how I like it. You might wanna add or subtract. All depends on how hot it is. I think we're gonna do another video on a taste test of this. Yes. I got a couple recipes I wanna try with these ghost peppers. I'm also going to dehydrate some and make them in a powder, just for like seasonings. Uh, Cause they're so hot, you really can't eat them. They're not really fun to eat. Um, but I'm gonna try a couple different recipes. This is my first one I'm going to try. If I like it, I'll make it you again. You know what? This might be good in that coffee cat cowboy candy. A couple peppers, not a lot. Yeah. It'll, it'll heat it up a little bit. Well, it'll definitely heat it up. I think the inside of my nose is burning. Clean your sinuses out. It sure is doing that. Okay, I'm bring it to a boil again. And uh, turn it off and let it simmer. Um, they they say they say 30 minutes to an hour. I guess it all depends on your personal preference and how thick how thick you want it or how thin you want it. I want it fairly thin, something I could you know dip in something. But uh, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> My camera woman is about ready to lose her teeth. Okay. Hmm? You're gonna put it on simmer now? Yeah, I shut the camera off. I let it boil. Got to, got to another boil. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on simmer. Okay, okay. Let it simmer for a while. Way I, down. I gotta get out of this house. Oh, seriously, it's in my throat. There we go. All right. Welcome we'll back. Yeah, we're hot. Oh boy, are we ever hot in here the kitchen okay it's starting to thicken up a little bit now it's been about 50 minutes so i'm gonna call it good it's it's hot i i, I did a little, little sample and it's it's definitely not heat hot it's it's what is warm so now what i'm going to do is take this off the heat let's sit for about 20 minutes to cool down a little bit okay and then i'm gonna pour it in my trusty little jars got some little 
sterilized. Pint. Pint jars. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'm thinking probably two or three, I'm thinking. Okay. So we're going to uh, let's, uh, let them cool for a little bit here. And, uh, we'll get be back. Bit. Okay. Okay. Here comes the paper towel. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Here okay. we go. Here we go. I gave him my metal thing. We're trying not to do plastic, if at all possible. Maybe a little bit more. We ought to go on the Amazon and see if there's any tiny bottles we can transfer this to when you want to use it. Or use what I, that handy dandy lid thing I made. I don't know. It's late. Beautiful. All right. Good job. Here we go. Rinse everything off. Next thing I'm going to do is going to be like a, uh, a more of a, like a little bottle sauce. You just kind of. You know what else we could do? Here. It's a Dollar Tree. They have the ketchup and mustard holders, things like that that are empty. We could put it in there, and then you could just. One of the videos that I watched. The ne next one I'm going to make is going to be that type, that type it's going to be real fine finely ground and he recommended he uses a uh, uh squirt bottle yeah that's what i'm ahead. thinking uh, now like for gifting and things like this i used like the little tabasco bottles type things okay um but we, we can get those on amazon i'm sure okay i'll look for them so for right now i'm gonna call this a success i'm gonna let it these cool for a little bit here and i'm gonna try it out here in the next uh next video next video we'll see how uh, how bad it burns <laughs> see you next see time see you then bye